um, no one, uh, regardless of their profession, should be allowed to perpetuate bias and poor behavior. Um, calling out bad behavior um, does not need to be in person though. Um, and um, the option for anonymous reporting should always be there. Uh, so for example, UCL has um, its report and support, um, which I think is a really important route forward. Yes. This is a very challenging thing to do, but nevertheless, this is so very important. It is challenging because the problem is who evaluates it and how fair that is going to be. I think this needs to be addressed by those in leadership position from a very neutral perspective. And I think that this cannot be done alone by people in leadership positions. So there should be a genuine voice here, a say here, a panel here that involve people from different walks all the way. It's more, um, in the first place, that itself should be more inclusive. Yes, we should call out biases and unfavorable behavior in academia and outside. But the problem is, how would you evaluate the ability to do that? Because a lot of it depends on the situational context. So as I mentioned before, power structures and so on are really important. So I'm an early career researcher with a fixed term contract. So I'm quite close to the sort of bottom of the pecking order amongst the staff at the department. And yes, I have called out and will absolutely call out things happening amongst my students, for example, when I witness any sort of microaggressions or stupid jokes and so on. But for, uh, on the other hand, I was once harassed by a professor from a different department and I did not report that one because the power imbalance was so strong that I was legitimately scared of just of simply losing my job if I reported it. And yeah, calling out bias should always be done, but in practice it is always safe to do so. So I'm not quite sure how you would sort of numerically evaluate the ability to call out bias and unfavorable behaviors. My view is... Yes, absolutely. So at King's, the promotion criteria talks about evidence of collegiality. That's great. That's a, a, a solid start. But but that's 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 not enough, to be honest. I'm sick of bullies being excused, the behavior of bullies being excused on the basis of either the two most common excuses that I have heard in years of working in higher education are either um, that's just how they are or yes, but they're a research star. And that's simply not good enough. Um, it happens probably far more often than, than, than we care to admit. And maybe what's particularly concerning and yet also unsurprising is that the Venn diagram of the people, the colleagues to whom those two descriptors are used or those two excuses are used. It's how just how they are and yes, but they're research stars. Those two circles of a Venn diagram will basically overlap in, in most cases. And that's, it's not, that's not good enough.